Hi and welcome again with our tutorial of ASP.NET Core MVC Entity Framework So this part will be number 13 uh, Today what we'll talk about uh, Actually we'll try to finish the enrollment controller uh, So let's just uh, run it and uh, see what we have done in the previous video uh, we add the create and uh, the list of enrollment should be showing so let's go and jump here and see what we have okay what should be enrollment only index so if we press on create new should give us here all the student com uh, drop down list and course two should be and this one grad here should be a b c like that so we should change them and i think this would be easier than the student because we have see there what you have done there so we will back now to our uh, models in enrollment uh, I don't need anything here. We need to go to our views. Go to enrollment to the create. Okay. Here, what we need to do, we need to change the student input. We don't need to be input uh, text box. Even for this uh, course ID, we don't need it to. And same as well, therefore, a grad. So what we'll put here, oh, let's back to the student and see what we have done there. And we can try, we can copy from there on the grid. So we need just copy this one, uh, the select, great, uh, for, uh, let's say here, no need to change anything, okay, for this one. Oh, sorry, this, uh, course not gender just change this one course sorry oh not now course and to be here we need it to be same our database name so let's go to course and let's take course name uh, which one we in here I think yes this one course name oh, this one made a mistake and this one let's call it course 2 and copy it let's back to our controller I'll show you step by step or let's try uh, one by one no need to make make you confuse how to how we did it so when we press on create I need to load all the data inside this view bag we call our view bag course view bag so what we need here we need to load all course courses in this uh, view bag but here first I need to prepare my controller I course okay nice course RSE okay this like this copy it and put it here Need comma here. I courses. Uh, courses equal underscore I courses. I courses. Let's back down here. Underscore course dot. I need to get all courses like this. So I prepare my view bag when I press on. Uh, great new will open this form for us and we'll find here the view bag ready for our uh, new select list okay same what we have done here we'll copy this one we'll do this one for a student okay will be student ID and here will be to student ID here will be student uh, I think here we can put first 
name or in the future we can change it to full name that's okay no problem and same time let's copy this one back to our controller we should do same where is it okay here equal what equal what we should do same this step here private read only i student underscore student copy this one put it here call it i student or constructor student equal i student back to this view bag say i student dot get all students that's great then now so nothing to change here but first name let's go back to grad here same and out will be different here remember here how what we have done here in the i think here same in not in the enrollment in the student where is it here if we copy same this one okay control c we're back to create student pass this one change the names to be select for no run okay here will be a and the value will be a b c b c i think we have f2 f f that's it uh, but i think uh, we need to prepare it for no grad there too save uh, let's copy this one and we should go to the enrollment field if you remember we did something they call it uh, oh we have it here as already nice no crap that's a great so now where is it which one here this for a student and this our so i think now it's easy and we can run and check our enrollment controller i think now this this tip is easier than how we did it with our student because now you have a view about it and you can understand easier for you so just now we say enrollment index let's say create a new whoops we have something with the student id view bag open now let me check it and back to you again so our mistake is look here when i write always i have big mistakes when i write fair first so i already write it here first in my modules too so i need to change it everywhere now uh, okay let's say like this copy close it that's it here i will give us errors if we rebuild it now and we'll change it everywhere always my mistakes with spelling when i write it I get mistakes uh no nothing let's go run it don't say the database is same here wow just let me check that field name if it's same we should bag it no need any mistakes let's go back to the student go to the design same look yeah okay change it here too yes
في انرولمنت جريت so I got all students here I have just one two students here I got my courses and I got my grads here so let me add something and this should be a small at a time I don't need it like this let me change it there on the enrollment I don't need it with time here I said uh, like this that type will be that a type dot just date I don't need with a date with time just date this will give me just a date day month year only it's really better I don't need time to add time oh that's great here let's back I think I will have mistakes now or errors because of the student give me a second let me just uh, check them back okay I changed my wish will be no any more mistakes or spelling mistakes so let's run it and try again to see if there is any things in you so let's say enrollment index let's create a new choose second one and choose math and choose 10 10 2010 10 no not 20 okay 2010 grad will say a that's a great let's add a new one one more okay same let's say 2010 oh 10 10 10 10 no no grad okay that's a great but there is small um, problem here again if you see there is only id uh should display here english or math and should display the names here so i think the next video will change this too to display the the names and the course see you in the next video bye, -bye.